Pew pew! Pew pew pew! Alright, what's going on Dungeon Delvers? Welcome back to another class build guide here for the current wipe. This is going to be the High Noon Rogue build. This build absolutely goes the distance. It is devastated. You're, you're mostly going to be wanting to go for speed here. And your strength is going to be capitalized on any magic using class, other rogues, slayer fighters, or anything without plate. And this absolutely is one of the fastest and funnest classes to play. It feels much like an FPS. You can delete classes in under four seconds. You could take Cutthroat or you could take Weak Point, depending on if you want to go for like plates or you want to try to take fights into melee. But uh, the best case that I found was the Poison Jokester with the Traps and Locks build to avoid Rangers. You could probably mix in some sort of stealth if you feel like it or get a dagger on and do some sort of uh, thrust and dagger mastery. You could get rid of uh, Creep and Traps and Locks, but mostly you're going to be crawling around the map or flying at light speed, depending on what you're going for. And then you have to have two HCBs. The primary purpose of this build is to be a ranged annoying mosquito, but you kill classes way faster than you think you can. With two HCBs and a whole arsenal of throwing knives, you will collapse warlocks, wizards, and clerics that don't have plate. You will annihilate other rogues. And so you mostly want to be stacking add damage or move speed. So here's two true. We've got one true and move speed. We've got four add on top and a little bit of armor pen across the board, especially on the cobalts. And so I'm just going to go ahead and drop it in the map. And I love this build. You take one of your HCBs off for bossing. And so with this build, you can and will be bossing. But most of you are just going to be zooming around the map looking for PvP. Trying to avoid detection with the new creep mechanic to be completely silent. And then I like traps and locks. I know there's not that many rangers and solos. But, you know, it only takes one. And if you have a kit like ours, like this is a pretty expensive kit. It can get significantly more expensive if you get up into the adventure tunic with like physical power or six max health like a lot of this is it's okay it's kind of mid-rolled but i like this build because it doesn't need a lot of money other than the weapons and with your weapons you're going to be going add weapo so you want your hand crossbows to have two add wep and you want your rapiers and daggers to have two add wep and so overall you're just going to be penetrating and punishing them with the hcbs never go to melee unless you're sure they're really low but i mean you're a rogue and you're made of paper so if you go against a Warlock, they're going to one-tap you after Dark Reflect. They can one-tap you anyway. A Barbarian's probably going to one-tap you. A Fighter is likely to one-tap you, especially a Slayer with a Falchion. I think on this build, I have 106 health and like 16% PDR. So just be aware that you need to be using your movement speed and your hand crossbows and throwing daggers to keep them on the move. And you're always going to stay at mid-range plus. All right, so the Warlocks won't be able to curse you, and Wizards won't be able to capitalize on their zap. But it's still very, very dangerous. The Poisons will stack, the Rupture will destroy, and you will annihilate your opponents. Sometimes I take the HCB off at the beginning, just for faster move speed and faster clear speed moving about the map. And then I put it on at the first sign of PvP. So we're going to do the same thing here. And while hunting for the uh, PvP, depending on where I'm at on the, the map, I'll just go boss. Right, we're at 112, and with this much damage, we can get Cyclops out of Rockfall phase quick. We can kill a uh, Troll in like a minute or two. And again, you can you can take Daggers here. Daggers will make you faster with movement speed and faster with melee DPS. But overall, I like uh, I like right here for speed and reach and the swing pattern. I'm just comfortable with it. Yeah. 
Uh, and boss, I'm finishing my guide. This is my last uh, my last guide video, and then I'm down for trios. Okay, that's Bloa. Someone is attacking the shaman. And the build has a lot of swaps, man. If you want to swap some stuff, go for it. Definitely can use daggers here and go thrust and dagger mastery. All right, straight to Cyclops. To the Clopes. I see we're both bad. No worries, there's more knives where those came from and more bolts. Classic rogue fight right now, it's just literally an FPS. If he didn't drink his potion there, I probably wouldn't have pushed the melee. 
Better thrower survives. I was scared when he whiffed both shots. Nah. Still had a whole entire arsenal. Don't have to land all of them. Just some of them. Light Akatone, plus one all. Mm. Demon Speed Pants. Add Madge, Triad Madge. Triad Madge. Triad Weppo. dead. I can't dodge. Um, I don't know. Maybe I have to drink a blue potion there. Man, I miss having double jump. Amazed I didn't get hit on that. Holy shit, I'm so amazed. Uh, I got stuck on his foot, I'm dead. GG. Okay, 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 hold on. Hold on. Wait. Alright, that boss is really easy. You just uh don't get hit, guys. That boss is simple. Don't get hit, don't get petrified, and don't get rock called. It's easy. Uh, I'm sorry we didn't get to show the Cyclops in this video, but I I promise he's <laughs> Real easy with the high noon build. Alright, just, just run it down. Run it down mid. Take it easy, relax. You got this. Never punished, true. I should have died there, like twice. This will be an easy fight. shot. Absolutely one right now.
cutthroat go burr. Uh, if I just reloaded my HTBs before pushing, he was cornered right there. I knew he was one. But uh, a smarter player either has more throwing knives since we ran out. Or they just reload HTBs. Like, he had nowhere to go. My only thought was that if he was like a PM build, I didn't want him to drink all the mobs and get back to full, so I just wanted to push him to melee. It's high noon. Absolute warlock hunting anti magic build. What's the counterplay to that? There isn't one. Is this you? There's there's no counterplay to this build. For your class. Uh, unless you were giga fast, you'd have to be way fast. You'd have to be like 107. Because I'm, I'm running 109. So you'd have to be fast enough to try to get me with a mid range ability. But th there's no counterplay. This is actually counter your class specifically. This is my uh, anti wizard, anti warlock build. I mean, you, the, like, the other thing is you knew I had HCB and Rupture, and you chose to pressure that. And you know, and you saw I was faster, so, like, you, you engaged on that. You, you should have ran after you hit me with, like, uh, after the first time. It's pretty much already over. There's no way. Nah, this, this build absolutely consumes Warlocks and Wizards. It's free. Trap mastery, it seems like a waste. I mean, it only takes one ranger to kill me, especially if I'm running like a 5k kid. I'd rather have the option, but again, just for the end of the video here, guys, a really good play. So, we, we have to add weapon damage daggers, right? So, we go to add weapon on these, and then let me see what we have. This one's to add weapon. Let me check my crossbows. Um, I don't have to add weapons, but we have at least one add weapon. But if you want to do a, a stronger variant of the build, then you get rid of Trap Mastery and you get rid of Creep if you don't mind being silent. I really didn't use it that much there anyway. And you, you go Thrust and Daggy. And then that helps you kill the Troll a lot quicker. Cyclops is a little bit tough to get in Dagger range with. But uh, I mean, the other thing is, like I mentioned, like this goes hard and you definitely kill people. But like, do I want to get within Dagger range of a Crystal Sword if I have to go to melee? For me, I'd rather use the Rapier and try to get like a, a little dancing headshot so I don't get hit. But both builds work great, and there are a lot of swaps for this, right? Like I said, there's the weak point swap um, that would help you with um, some tankier classes or to, like, take a fight in melee a little bit better, especially with that four second of uh, PDR drop. Then you just start swinging the dagger, especially if you've already weakened them with two HCB hits and some dagger throws. But that's going to be your high noon build. It is counter magic. You have to build fast. And always try to retreat back to the mid-long reload and then come back to the fight. As you saw right there, I went through a lot of throwing knives. Running out of throwing knives is kind of a death sentence. We could have killed that warlock easy with throwing knives or on a reload on the HCBs. But I thank you all for watching. That is the end of this build guide. Remember your weakness is plates or very, very fast wizards with instacast. They can be, they can be tough, but still at long range, you should be able to beat them with the HCBs. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. I will see you live on twitch.tv slash SoBadStrange. Please comment, like, and love if you enjoyed any part of this video, and I'll see you for the next one.